Hi, third graders. Good to see you. So you have been learning about government and specifically the three branches of government, right? You got your judicial branch, which is like the justices, the, the judges, and they help us interpret the laws and figure out how they work for the people. Um, you've got the executive branch, and that's like the president, vice president, and the higher level cabinet members. And then this week, we're going to be talking about the legislative branch. And the legislative branch is really special because it connects the people, us, to our government. Okay? Our government was formed 250 years ago. We started the United States of America because people didn't feel like they had the right to practice their religion freely. And so we made these set of laws to protect freedoms. These laws were made by the people, for the people. And that's what the legislative branch is all about. So even kids as young as you who aren't of voting age, you have a voice and you can share that voice. All you have to do is email your congressperson, email your senator, and they have the power to create a committee and to write a bill. And maybe one day a bill that they write from your idea could become a law. So that's really how laws are made. It's that simple. I mean, it's a lot harder than that, but believe me, anyone can do it if you work hard enough. So, and I know plenty of you that seriously could become legislators one day. So I hope you pay attention to this video. Enjoy. It's great to see you all. Let's learn about the legislative branch. Last week, boys and girls, you learned about the three branches of government. You learned about the executive branch, the legislative branch, and the judicial branch. But just topical information, just, just scratching the surface. This week, we're going to delve deeper into the legislative branch. The legislative branch is an extremely important branch. You remember how you were writing all those persuasive essays a few weeks ago trying to change people's minds? Well, it's up to the legislature, the legislators of the country to do that. These are idea people. They have good ideas and they listen to their constituents. They listen to the people in their state who have good ideas and they try to make those ideas into laws. That's what the legislative branch does. So legislative branch or Congress are two groups of people who work in Washington, D.C. Those groups are the Senate and the House of Representatives. So we're going to learn about those in a second. Um, the members of the House of Representatives and the Senate are in charge of writing, discussing, and voting on bills or future laws. Okay, So they may not come up with the idea for a law, you may come up with an idea and you can give them a call or you can send them an, an email and tell them your idea. And then they may say, wow, you know what? That should be a law. And they are the connection from us to the president and the rest of the leaders of the country. So it's very important. Um, senators, there's a hundred of them in the whole country. And since there are 50 states, there's two for each state. Okay, It's very even throughout each state. Whether your state has 100,000 people or whether your state has, you know, 50 million people, you only have two senators. So that can be a very powerful position. To run for the Senate, you must be at least 30 years old and have lived in the United States for at least nine years. It's harder to be elected to the Senate than the House of Representatives because there are fewer seats, right? Some uh, House members, there may be 50, 50 or 53 seats in California, but in each state there's only two seats, so it's a little bit more difficult. And also for that reason, Senate terms last for six years, um, and we'll learn that the House terms are less. There are also no limits for how many terms someone can serve. So we've had senators serve up until uh, their 90s, you know. Um, House of Representatives. So not instead of 100 senators, there are 435 members of the House. The more people there are in your state, the more House members you have. So, for example, Wisconsin has eight representatives. California has 53. It's a, it's a much bigger state. So the, to run for the House, you must be at least 25 years old. In contrast to the Senate, you need to be 30. And you must have lived in the United States for at least seven years. House terms last for two years, right? As opposed to Senate terms, which last for six years. 
So again, you can see that these are the Senate is a little bit more powerful than the House. And oftentimes there we have members of the House of Representatives who want to run for Senate. That's kind of almost thought of as a step up. There are no limits for how many terms someone can serve in the House either. So now that we've known a little, we've learned a little bit about what it is to be a senator and what and House member and what the requirements are, how does this work exactly? So if you want to write a bill, when a member of the House writes a bill, um, you try to make the rules in the bill fair for everybody. Because if they're not fair for some people, they won't pass, right? People won't vote for it. Can you think of a law that would be helpful for students at recess? When you write the bill, you have to explain why you think that law would help people. So try to be creative and think to yourself, or even a law for your family. You know, you spent a lot of time with your family, and you're starting to get to know what works and what doesn't. Maybe you can come up with an, your own idea that you can make into a rule for your house. So, for example, Senator Bob was sad because people kept getting hurt in car accidents when they didn't buckle their seatbelts. He said there should be a law that says all people need to buckle up. Then people will be much safer if they get into an accident. So the senator wrote this bill. Too many people are getting hurt in car accidents because they don't wear their seatbelts. If there was a law for everyone, then maybe many more people would be safe in a car accident. And then the senator or house member has to write the date. The act is very clearly. The language has to be super clear so there's no confusion. They sign it at the bottom, and they get they get a committee to uh, to work on this with them. They can't just do it on their own. It has to be a committee of, of uh, members. And look at this. The bill was discussed by the House and the Senate. They voted. They each voted yes, yes, and the president signed the bill. Woohoo! Congratulations, Senator Bob. I wish it was that easy. So, boys and girls, super important lesson today. I hope you really pay attention to this. Maybe one day one of you will be a senator or a member of the House of Representatives. You all have the potential.